Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. And of course, this is the Founders Blog, vlog, whatever it is, where Art and I get to solve all the problems of the world. Art, are you ready? Yeah, but I'm feeling a little nostalgic today. Before we got on this morning, I was singing in my mind, uh, oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. And I wonder how often we go back to our homes where the buffalo roamed. Uh, I know I'm a transplant. What about you? Do you ever go back to uh, 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 New Mother York. Earth? New, New York. Well, New, New York. Both now, of us. you and I, yeah. you and I are both transplants for whatever reason, business or whatever. We ended up in California, but we're both from New York. You from Brooklyn. Me originally from the Bronx, but. We never say that. We by say by, by the way, I'm waiting them. for them to do a proclamation someday is, thank God these two guys are transplants and they're still not <laughs> natives. Yeah. Well, that's why we don't go home that often is because, well, you know, they left and we don't necessarily need to see them ever again. Right. Um, but I do, I have, um, I've been back quite a bit, I guess, if you consider that. Um, I don't know how, how often quite a bit is. But in the last, 20 years, I have not been back very often. I've been back three or four times in 20 years. Yeah, I used so to travel back off. fairly frequently for business, uh, but when I was going back to business, it was business, and I never really spent much time uh, visiting with uh, friends and relatives uh, that we had there uh, because it was for business, and then you get in and get out and you come back. Right. right. Well, I, I'm just the opposite. I always... I think all my trips back east to to New York have been about family and friends, not mm -hmm. about business. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not quite true. But I, in the f times when I did have to go back for business, I always made you know time to visit people. Yeah, and so, by the way, Lynn, Linda and I used to go back. Uh, we would we would plan a trip to go to New York, let's say every five years or so, and stay in Manhattan. Uh, we lived in on Long Island and then in, in uh, Brooklyn and Queens, whatever. Uh, no, we actually never lived in Brooklyn, but I did. But uh, we would go to Manhattan and see Broadway shows, and we sort of cram in four or five uh, musicals, and then we go to Ticks and get what we could there. And we would arrange visiting lots of people, uh, yeah. uh, whether like going out to the island on the Long Island Railroad or uh, uh, renting a car, what have you. So we we would do it around that. But other than that, we haven't gone back just for pure visiting. Uh, yeah. In uh, well, I'm I, in a way I'm kind of the opposite. Um, I, what I cram in is visiting people. Uh, I'm, for instance, I'm planning a, I'm going to go back to a high school reunion in uh, September, mm. and uh, that's the first time I've been back in five years, I think. And the uh, last time I went was to a high school reunion, but then I will plan as I did last time. Uh, visiting relatives in Long Island, visiting relatives in New Jersey, visiting, uh, going what I call upstate to uh, Putnam County and uh, Orange County, visiting relatives who came. Uh, my cousin Colin will drive down from Syracuse um, so, and we'll meet kind of <laughs> halfway at the old homestead. Hmm. So, um, yeah, it is, for me, it's about people. And, you know, at this age... Uh, you know, I'm not looking forward to, it's not that I'm not looking forward to, but I just can't count on that I'll ever, let's say in another five years, I'll be able to go back and travel again. Hmm. So it's a little melancholy to think about going back this time because I recognize on a realistic basis, who knows where I'll be in five years, you know, it, assuming my travel is every five years. So you're, gonna, you're, you're, you're a real people crammer. You're, a people crammer. You're a people crammer. Yeah. So I look at the slightly. Yeah, they seem to like it. I don't know. Yeah. So I was going to make some. Some. I was going to take that a little further down the line and beat you with it. But. But, uh, uh, but uh, I'm more optimistic than you. you. We both know that. I have a 25 year rolling plan, so uh, I think there are going to be endless uh, opportunities. But it, when I take one of those endless opportunities, such as uh, about a couple of years ago. Linda and I went to visit some dear friends in uh, Florida. Uh, and uh, when we were there, we crammed in uh, a whole bunch, in addition to spending a lot of time with them, uh, maybe five of our 
uh, seven or eight days, almost exclusively with them. Uh, nice. We went to northern Florida to see Aunt Phyllis, uh, who is in her 90s now, just absolutely wonderful gal. And we just had a wonderful time. It was, for, it was like a five-hour drive, but we yeah. went up there to see her. And then I found uh, my friend uh, Lloydie, who I had known since kindergarten and hadn't wow. been in touch with uh, from about the time of 13 when I moved away from the area that we both went to school together. And finally, we connected by Facebook or something about uh, five years before that. And wow. he, he happened to be the next town over. And, yeah. and about uh, uh, four or five other people, you know, two hours here, two hours there, of just people that were neighbors or friends sure. or relatives. So we, had, we actually had a, a, a really good time. And so I guess I qualify as a people crammer as well. You are. You're a, a big crammer. But the, I guess the real, qu you. the real question is, and I think you, uh, you really uh, uh, hit the nerve, is that for us uh, transplants, whether it be 1,000 miles or 3,000 miles, uh, when you go back home again, Yep, uh, wherever home is. Wherever home was, wherever your youth was or your earlier yeah. lives, uh, do you tend to uh, meet with uh, lots of people just because you're there and it's been a long time? Yeah. And I wonder, I, I wonder if that's something to do with age as opposed to, let's say you were 50 years old mm. uh, and you were thinking, uh, well, you know, I've got another 30 years left. Um, you go back, quote, home, wherever home is, visit a relative or something. You don't necessarily feel like you have to cram a lot of stuff in. Uh, I'll come back next year. Whether you come back next year or not is, you know, not the point. Um, it's something about age, I think. The older I get, the more realistic I have to be about, you know, how often am I coming back to visit? And uh, so I, I feel like I need to cram a there's, lot in. There's my, there's my beloved... Uh... Uh, uh, negative Debbie Downer John friend. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I don't have a 30 year rolling plan. 25, 25. You know, Wait, wait uh, once it was 30. I'm, I'm, really I'm optimistic, not unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I hope everybody uh, uh, does get to keep in touch with friends and relatives from the old homestead, wherever that might be. Um, I, you know, I think art about half the country is transplanted somewhere. Mm. Um, it may be only 500 miles away or maybe like us, 3,000 miles away. But I think there's a, a about half the country has we're a very um, movable country. Right. You know, so I think there's a lot of people who are in our situation have a have home friends, relatives who who stayed in the area where they grew up. And uh, and yet they're nowhere near home, and so they they don't get back very often. Hmm. Uh, so thank God for Facebook and Skype and and Zoom and all those other things that we can connect with now. Yeah, and uh, by by the way, um, you have a, a not totally unusual, uh, but you have a, a wide variety of high school friends that you're still in touch with on a regular basis. In fact, several of them we've interviewed, uh, like John Mariani, who's a regular. <laughs> like uh, John Mariani, yeah. They're just terrific folks. Um, uh, I don't have, uh, most, of my, most of my friends are college friends uh, that, yep. I, that I'm still in touch with. But uh, you have this wonderful group of high school friends as my, uh, my oldest daughter, who now travels for business back east and all over the world, but she now has some factories that she has to visit on Long Island. So she, wow. so they do. Uh, they know that Kim is coming, and they get the wine tasting tours, uh, That's concert tickets, and That's so when great. she she comes in that weekend, that she normally gets to stay there, is just chock full of of reunion. So. Uh, it's nice that you have your high school friends there. Many of our well, it's, relatives it's and college not, friends. It's not quite the same as my high school friends because when she hits Long Island, they'll take her to a concert. When I hit New Rochelle, we're going to go to Greasy Nicks. Oh, Greasy Nicks. Which is, which is a hamburger You know what? Joint. Hold on to Greasy Nicks and let's talk about, because we can talk about, a we can have a whole vlog on that and 
White Castle and the empty boxes oh, that are found under your bed at the end of the summer when your parents come home. And so, so we could talk. Why don't we talk about the really unhealthy places to eat that we miss? Yeah. For another oh, vlog. Why I got I got a long list of those. They were yeah. greasy nicks. Greasy nicks. That's oh, a, a, it's a, a classic. Okay, good. Uh, hold that for another time. But so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. There's a greasy nix in our future, but uh, the real question today is, and let us know, can you go home again? Can you, can you go home? And of course, where is home, you know? So um, that's a great, a great idea. Please contact us, let us know. And uh, we'll, we'll talk again soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.